Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. Whippee! <laughs> guys so today I wanted to start off with just uh, a little thing that I found out that I've been misleading people for many years now and not in a horrible way by any means but I thought that I should clear the air just a little bit here it's kind of interesting so my parents came over this past weekend and recently there was an article in my local newspaper just about what I what I do in this town and all that good stuff and within that article I had talked about how when I was younger and I wanted to stop going to college I didn't want to go to school academically I, I suffered I struggled it was a very hard thing for me and all I wanted to do was draw and this is a story that I've told over and over and over again in my in my workshops about when I left school, when I told my parents I was leaving school, they, they said to me, you can, you know, we're kind of against that, but if you leave, then you're responsible, you gotta pay for your own car insurance, your own health insurance, you're on your own, and, uh, and, and that was it. And I said, I could do it. Oh, come on. Every day, every day, there's a guy that walks his dog, Big Doberman, and he walks by my street and he just stands up straight and he's like a robot, this guy. He doesn't even live on my street and he can walk all over the place, but every day he passes my house and he doesn't have to. He can pass parallel on the other side. It drives my dogs crazy. What are you going to do? Um, and so this story is that, so I've told people this as um but from what i believe that's what what I, what I remembered i just remembered having to pay lots of money or having to think about that when i left when i dropped out of school and my parents were so upset that i that i wrote that they said that was just not true that just didn't happen you and so this was the story that they told uh, me and all of a sudden it came back to me and I realized because I said I know I was paying money out of pocket and I was stressed at that moment because I had to work and I knew that I wanted to be an artist and I and I wasn't going to go to school because this was not my path this is not what I wanted to do and what they reminded me of which became clear what I remember now because it's just like that thing and I learned something new what happened was, this was the story, okay, so this is the real story. It's, it's similar, it's close, so I, I didn't bamboozle you that much. What happened was, I was going to junior college because my parents had said, you got to go to school, and I didn't want to go. And I was just miserable. And what had happened was, I, I wanted to drop out of, of school, and my parents, I just found this out. And I can't imagine that a professor, you know, in a school would do this in a university. So I don't remember his name or anything else. But he had called up my parents. I, keep in mind, I was 18 years old at the time. He called up my parents. And I was living in a whole different city at that point. And he said to them, I just want to call and tell you that I, I really feel like you're wasting your money sending Stephen to, to school. He just does not concentrate he's just staring out the window all he does is draw in class you know this is a college class a college course and I feel like you're wasting your money and you might want to consider doing something else with him so the guy I, I remember you know some of the teachers sort of being disappointed because I just couldn't focus I couldn't concentrate I never could 
And my parent, and I told my parents, I want, I'm going to drop out of school. I can't do this. I want to be an artist. I want to do that. And what they told me was, if you think you can make it as an artist, well, you got to fend for yourself. But what they did was, we will pay because they were afraid I wasn't going to pay for my health insurance or my car insurance. And I was already on their plan. And they were afraid that I was going to neglect that. So they said, we're going to cover that, but you're responsible for everything else. Your living, you know, your rent, your food, your gas, your, you know, your everything, right? 18 years old. And that's the true story that I realize now had happened. So it was similar. But what I never knew was that that professor had called up my parents and told them, you're wasting your money sending uh, this guy to school. So that's a uh, you know, true story now of uh, what happened. It's all been set straight, all right? Um, for today's art talk, what I just wanted to talk about was the power of uh, thinking over knowing, okay? So what happens is I think saying that I don't think I can do something is really worse than saying I don't know if I can do something because the minute you say I don't think I could do it, Oftentimes, that's the thing that stops you from even pursuing something. And why I'm saying this is because last week I talked about licensing and how I have this invention, this idea that I've decided I'm going to pursue and follow through so that I have no regrets and at least I can say that I did it and I tried it for myself. No one else but myself so that I can get that off of my plate. And I think that's very important why you want to do things is just to merely just shed it off of you. Take that extra weight that's on you that's sort of weighing you down because you haven't even attempted something and you're getting all, you know, anxiety ridden and stressed and worried and all these things because you haven't sometimes tried. So when you say that you don't think you can do something, that stops you from trying. So when I wanted to create this invention, I needed to do a prototype. Now, I've never done this sort of stuff. I'm not a handy guy. I don't even have the right sort of tools. I got a drill, you know, one drill. I got uh, yeah, bits and pieces. I, I have the worst tool set you could ever imagine in, in the world. And it's something that one day, maybe my, my kids will buy me as a, uh, as a holiday gift or something, you know, just get me, get me a proper tool set of some sort. But again, I have, I have nothing. I got some nails and I got, you know, like most of you guys out there, I'm sure. You just don't have the supplies. To like some people I know, they got a full workshop and everything and they got vices and drill. It's amazing. But I don't. But I, why, what I'm saying here is I could have easily said, I don't think I could do that, make a prototype and just sort of like that's impossible and sort of put that idea because I don't think that I could do it because I haven't done it before, right? As opposed to, I don't know if I can do it, so I'm going to try and see how by saying almost like, I don't know if I can do it. So why not try? And that's, that's really the big lesson in all of this is, is, is have that sort of mindset of not knowing and just instead of putting that burden of just automatically saying to yourself, I don't think I can do it. Why even bother? I don't think that I'm going to get hired for the studio. So why even bother? I don't think that my portfolio is good enough. So I'm not even going to try. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. And you can come up with all the I don't think excuses over and over and over again or you can just say, I don't know. I don't know if I can get that job or not. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do that. And that's really the idea behind it. So think about that next time you're about to try something or that, 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 that idea that is, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's spinning in your head right now. You, you all have it. We all have it. We're all going through it. We all think of these, these things that we want to maybe potentially pursue. I think, again, as I discuss in many of the other art talk topics, it's so important to make sure that you're determining what it is that you're even aiming for, where you're even going, at least start it and try it. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm going to be very honest with you guys, you guys are going to set goals for yourself and you guys are going to set desires for yourself and you're going to start it. And what that's going to do is just buy some time. What it's going to do is fill up some space within the time span of your life, but it's not going to be all it's cracked up to be. 
and I promise you this, I'm telling you this, if you haven't faced it already, you will. If you've faced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are gonna achieve milestones in your life. You guys are gonna get to the point where you're gonna have accomplishments in your life because you set out to do something, you decided to do something, and you did it, you fulfilled it, but then it's just gonna happen again, and it's gonna happen again. It's almost like Groundhog Day. In, in, a, in a crazy way, it's almost like this curse that every artist, uh, a creative artist will have, someone who wishes to do this truly for their career, not, not just a hobbyist, not just someone who just likes to tinker around, they got their regular job and they're just doing this on the side, but someone who takes this career seriously and has made a profession out of it and decided to go that route, Again, the curse is, is that it's Groundhog Day, you know, like that movie. It just kind of, it's sort of like cycles. It's over and over again. It becomes a little monotonous. Like, oh my God, haven't I gone through this already? Why am I going through this again? I thought I achieved my dream. I thought I achieved my goal. And the reality is that's that doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way. So just be prepared for it more than anything. Boy Scout motto, be prepared just know this is it and you're going to deal with those frustrating days and you're going to deal with that. So set your mind to doing what you don't know how to do. Just don't automatically put the, I don't think I could do it. I'm not even going to bother. Just try it. See what happens. It, it, just as long as you're not you, corrupting something or her, hurting someone else or even hurting your family, hurting, hurting, you know, putting yourself in debt or, or doing something, or you, whoever, I don't know. Just don't do it to where you, you can financially maybe put yourself in a place where now you've spent $30,000 on getting something which was going to go nowhere because you didn't maybe really research or test something or get people's, not that you need everyone's opinions, but I think it's important if you're going to make some big milestone own steps, get some feedback from people again, but don't, not that you have to listen to them, not that you need to just do exactly what someone else says, because what do they know? They don't know. You don't know either. In all honesty, you don't know what the result of anything is going to be. You just got to try it. All right. So that's the, that's today's talk. Thanks for watching. November 16th, all day workshop. If you want to be empowered and just kind of take your drawing to the next level, sign up. It's uh, information's on my website, silvertunes.com, in the event section, in the handlebar. And then don't forget the nighttime party that we're going to have at Tip Mouse, where that's free to attend and all are welcome. And also, I'll be at DesignerCon on November 11th. All right, guys, I shall uh, talk to you later. Take care. Hello, this is Steven, and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life, see if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks.